So I did a little bit of mowing just here in the front. I'm gonna put down some uh, liquid fertilizer and humic. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is fill her up with water. Some of the spray tips are down in here. These are air induction T-Jet nozzles. These things are flipping sweet. I'm tell, I tell you what, these things are awesome. So this is a sweet sprayer. I love this thing. I built this thing by hand all myself. I just ordered up the parts that's got high performance good parts on it. All right, so this is the product that I'm going to put down. It's called Live Earth Blitz 22. This is a 2200 product. It's a nitrogen product supplemented with humic acid. This here has a little nozzle here. You hook it up to your hose and one of these bottles here is supposed to do exactly 1000 feet. So this stuff also has a little bit of iron in there as well. So basically what we want to do with this sucker is we want to put this 32 ounce bottle down over exactly 1,000 square feet. That's why they've given you this thing right here like this. Hook it up to the hose and you spray it like this. So they sent me this bottle and they're like, hey, you want to try this? I said, sure, I'll try it. But he did say this stuff can be just a little bit dangerous, so you gotta be careful. Gonna make sure you put a lot of water down as you put this stuff down. So this is a 2200 with humic acid fertilizer. So I got this stuff on my website. If you guys wanna buy it, uh, lawnrebel.com, you can go over there and buy it. This guy's gonna ship them out for me and blah, 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 whatever. I'm gonna make our millions, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. So it says right here, do not apply undiluted. That will way burn your tur turf. Do not do that. So professional and home garden use uh, turf, 32 ounces per thousand feet, six to eight weeks, or is recommended by a soil analysis. Keep out of the reach of children and don't drink it, basically. May be harmful if swallowed. And don't get this stuff on the concrete either because it could stain the lawn. I'm just gonna measure out 32 ounces of this stuff or put this in there and there and figure out exactly how much I need. So it's basically 32 ounces divided by or multiplied by eight because I have 8,000 square feet. That's 256 ounces, dudes. That's a lot of freaking 128, 128, 128, so gallon. Oh, shoo, my shoo, holy moly, dude. So that's freaking crazy. So I gotta put two gallons of this stuff in there. This is a two and a half gallon tote right here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. But if you got a small lawn, this is a perfect little size, you know, 1,000 square feet. Okay, so this is this is not for the faint of heart, folks. So I need to put 256 ounces of this, of this stuff into my sprayer here. I am working with this dude, his name's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Russ, this guy's name's Russ, okay? He calls me up and says, hey, you know, uh, I want to send you some product. Will you put it down? I said, oh, sure, I'll put it down. So he sends this. He's like, yeah, it covers 1,000 square feet. I'm like, dude, I got 23,000 square feet. So he sends two of these. Okay. But he's like, well, it's not going to have a label on it. I said, dude, get yourself, get your button gear and give me a label. Come on. So that doesn't want to open up. All right, so the guy's name's Russ. He sends me this stuff and it's like this small thing like this. And I'm like, dude, I got 23,000 square feet. That's not gonna cover hardly anything. And he's like, well, most people have smaller lines. I said, well, you're not talking to most people, dude. You're talking to me. So he's like, all right, all right, all right. I'll send you something else. Okay, fine. So he sends two of these big, big old jugs. So here is one half gallon. I don't know if this is all gonna fit in there. That's a lot of stuff to put down. I hope I got my math right. Okay, so this is one gallon. Two gallons. Okay, so here's uh, two and a half gallons. And that's not gonna be good. She's gonna overflow. She's gonna overflow. If you guys haven't got one of these pitchers yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. These things are freaking dope. Oh, we're leaking, we're leaking. We're leaking, see that? Gotta get this onto the lawn. 
All right, folks, so she's gonna be a little bit light there because she's leaking. And I can't fit all the rest of this in there. So let's get this rig set up and let's go for it. So see how that's leaking right there? It's leaking down onto the concrete. That you don't wanna put, you don't wanna drill right here. That was the mistake I made. You wanna put this on something flat like this. So if you're thinking about building this spray rig, don't do it like that. Let's go for this. Like I said, you really gotta put a lot of water down with this stuff or you will burn the lawn. So either use the hose end or freaking water like a mad machine after you spray with your irrigation. So that's it, I sprayed this over the 8,000 feet, went over it three different times. Now I've got to get the water on. Immediately you wanna water this in or use a hose end. So I'm gonna water this in right here and then I'm gonna use the hose end over there. So on this section, I'm gonna use the hose end sprayer, this section, cause I know it's about 1,000 feet right here. I know that because I measured it when I put the seed down. So the idea with this is I just need to put this whole bottle basically in this section here and then we'll see how she goes. So let's just, should just turn on like that. Wow. Look at that. So see that coming out of there? That's some dark stuff right there, folks. I wanna get that on you. Tell you what. This stuff will stain, so just uh, beware on that. Whoa, she's getting low. Gotta go faster. going dry on me it's almost out I can feel it and, and hear it so you can see there it's empty it's gonna take this off and because this stuff needs to be watered in so I don't want my little seedlings to burn I'm gonna take this off and then I'm just gonna water it in like this I'm just gonna open this up kind of close the ball valve a little bit like that and then just water it like this so you can see over there I've got the sprinklers running uh, behind me there watering in that section. Just wanna make sure you don't water this in so you don't burn it. So you can see this section right here and there's a section over there. It's just not getting enough water. I'm not sure why. Obviously my sprinklers need to be adjusted. I'm gonna go get a sprinkler and put that on there. So I really wanna put some of that uh, humic back here in the back with that fertilizer because it's pretty nasty back here. So this has definitely been my hardest area this year to work on. It's not been, not been an easy year for this. After spraying that MSM, that really set me back quite a bit. I don't know that I would do that again. It just doesn't look great. So I would like to put some of that nitrogen back there in the back. And it's been a while since I've applied nitrogen in the backyard anyways, but. So look how uh, dry this section is over here. You can see it right there and there. Just, just extremely dry. Maybe the sprinklers aren't running enough, I'm not sure. It's been a hard balance to get the sprinklers just right, trying to get that grass to grow in and not kill everything else, so you know what I mean. But I needed to spray more so right in there. And I need to get my other sprinklers going over there. Oh, look at that. 
So check out how much that thing dials back when I turn on the other sprinkler. That's crazy. It's actually not bad though, because it's distributing the water just a little bit better. It's not quite getting close enough over here. I'm gonna let this run for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, this thing, to kind of wet this area down. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Are you kidding me, folks? You see this place? This is like what you would see in like, what that place called Whistler? Something like that in BC, Canada. See how uh, pretty it is right here, eh? Just, just an amazing place. I've been fishing here with the kids. Had a hard time kind of catching anything. But I did talk to a fella on the way out. He said he caught a couple, but they were not too large. They're just mini guys there. Look at this place, folks. No one around but Mr. Knorr and the Lawn Rebel. Where else are you going to see this kind of scenery? Whistler, Canada? Maybe. Don't kid yourself and get your butt down here. Parecia fantasia.